Hello friends, yes, it's still your girl. You're welcome back to this channel. Members of the Ijo Youth Council are currently staging a protest in front of Doen College, Lagos, demanding justice for late Sylvester Oremoni, who died November 30, 2021. The date has inflicted deep pain and caused feelings of great sadness, not just on the family based in worried Delta State, but the anguish also extended to a family of mourners, friends, well-wishers, parents, students, celebrities, politicians, teachers, social media commentators, bloggers, and government officials around the world who also shares in the grief. Sylvester Oromoni is from the Ijo speaking tribe in Delta State. The protest comes after the Lagos State government exonerated five students and staff of the school arrested over the death of late Sylvester. Hello guys, yes, it's still your girl, you're welcome back to this channel. Members of the Ijo Youth Council are currently staging a protest in front of Doen College, Lagos, demanding justice for late Sylvester Oromoni, who died on November 30 after he was allegedly attacked by some of his seniors in Doen College, Lakey. The death has inflicted deep pain and caused feelings of great sadness, not just on the family based in Worry, Delta State, but the anguish also extended to a family of mothers, friends, well wishers, parents, students, celebrities, politicians, teachers, social media commentators, bloggers, government officials, and so on around the world who also share in the grief. Sylvester is from the Ijo speaking tribe in Delta State. The protest comes after the Lagos State government illustrated five students and staff of the school arrested over the death of late Sylvester Oromoni. The state cleared them as well as the school following the legal advice of the director of Public Prosecution DPP Mrs. Adetutu Oshinose and according to the legal advice addressed to the Deputy Commissioner of Police, State Criminal Investigation Department SCID and the Trial Magistrates, Magistrate Olatobosu Adeola, the interim and final autopsy report issued by the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital and toxicology reports of post-mortem samples and that of the Central Hospital worry we are in agreement as of the cause of death namely septicemia, lobar pneumonia with acute yelinefritis and acute bacterial pneumonia due to severe sepsis. And the legal advice added that the results of the toxicology is also not indicative of any toxic or poisonous substance in the body of the disease as claimed by the family. So the DPP's legal advice DFO concluded that based on those findings there is no prima facie case of murder, involuntary mass slaughter and or malicious administering of poison with intent to harm against the five students favor Benjamin, Michael Kasham, Edward, and Sautemile and Kenneth Heyang. The state therefore directed that all the suspects should be released if they are still in custody, and the school is however still closed. Well guys, there you have it. A joyous council staged protest in front of Doen College demand justice for late Sylvester Oromoni. Thank you all for listening to that and please don't forget to like, subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.